This is Oliver Lucanus from Below Water. Whiptailed catfish are widespread throughout South America and range from rather drop common Loricaria parva that remind less than 10 centimeters or 4 inches as adults to some really big species like Loricaria vetula from Argentina that get almost 2 feet or 60 centimeters long. Recently, some interesting species are coming from Colombia, like this Sudhemiodon apithanos, and we're going to have a look at some of these today. The first is Pseudhemiodon apithanos, similar to the chameleon whiptail catfish from Peru. This fish can have pretty much any color. With the black and beige markings changing from fish to fish and depending on their mood. These fish live in shallow and fast flowing water over pebbles and sand. Even when they're not buried, they are hard to spot in the river, but with most of their body in the substrate, they are really hard to find. To keep these fish in the aquarium, they absolutely must have high water flow to maintain high dissolved oxygen levels. Ideally, water changes of half the volume every week to prevent nitrate levels from rising. For food, they're not picky but they should be fed with some frozen bloodworm or tube effects along with dry foods. The adults here really like Bug Pro sinking pellets. Something else that is really interesting about these fish is that the males actually lip brood. They will carry around a cluster of eggs and larvae until they hatch in their mouth. These are juveniles during feeding time. Then they all come out and scoot around for food. You can see that they do just fine with tetras, corridoras and other small fish. This second species is from the Choco region. This is Crossoloricaria variegata. You can see that they can be a bit territorial and they actually fight over food, but usually nobody gets injured. The third is this Salvador Dali whiptail, Radiloricaria macromystux, that has this really crazy looking mustache. It's a fantastic looking fish and it'll get quite big, over 35 centimeters or 14 inches. It's also crazy delicate and not a fish you want to buy without careful consideration. These whiptails really need perfect water conditions to be kept long term, oxygen rich, warm, fast flowing water and weekly water changes. I hope we'll see some people breeding these catfish, that should be quite a challenge. Please make sure to subscribe to this channel at the end of this video so we can produce more of these.